We've talked about how the 20% project follows the shape and model of the upside down pyramid and gradually increases in impact over time. The logistics are also the same and will gradually increase in terms of time commitment, effort, and project complexity. We'll break down execution of the project into a few key phases. Phase one, a weekend project. Phase two, a month long project. And phase three, a three to six month project. The reason why we have you follow this progression is to minimize risk. Trust me when I say that your odds of succeeding are vastly higher if you gradually dip your toe in the pool rather than chuck yourself into the deep end where you're likely to get overwhelmed, drown, and fail. Some of you may have done projects already, while some of you may be starting from scratch. Wherever you're at, each module will guide you through one of these stages, prototype, MVP, and product slash market fit. Just so we're clear, prototype refers to the weekend project, MVP refers to the month long project, and product slash market fit refers to the three to six month project. We'll explain what all this means in just a moment. In the prototype phase, we are making your first pancake. The emphasis here is on making your pancake edible, not delicious, and certainly not the best pancake in the world. We're just experimenting with an idea. These projects are small, low stakes, and easy to change or pivot directions from. They require the minimum required effort, just one to two people, and will in total take about eight to 10 hours to plan and execute. In fact, they should take just one weekend from start to finish. A good example of a prototype project would be a student who is interested in nutrition and decides to host a brief 30 minute workshop to his friends over Zoom. The next stage, stage two, is MVP, which involves a complete fleshed out idea. By now, you're starting to get into something more comprehensive and tidy, more people are getting involved, maybe three to 10, and the project is starting to take a little longer, maybe three to four weeks. The MVP version of the previous nutrition idea might look like a three to four day boot camp to teach elementary schoolers about nutritional lingo like caloric intake and vitamins. By the time you finish your MVP, you've already started getting into marketing and engaging with a lot of people. This is, for many students, a completely unfamiliar realm. And while the 20% project is designed to let you be the one in charge, this is an area that we do want to give you some guidance on, as the principles are pretty universal between projects. We highly recommend that you go watch the sales and marketing module before you start your month-long project. In fact, some of you may even want to watch it before you start your weekend project. The crown jewel and final part of the project module is product and market fit. This is incredibly advanced. You're starting to deal with significant complexity and scale, getting tons of people involved, anywhere between 10 to 100 or more. The time it takes for you to plan and execute your initiative will likely take several months. By now, you've got something that you can present proudly to college admissions. This might look like a nutrition week at a student's school. It could start with the boot camp, then lead into students taking over the dining hall and making their own healthy versions of foods. We've also put the summary into a helpful infographic in the additional resources section. So go check that out. To sum things up, by the time we get to product and market fit, what we're doing is vastly more complex than the original 30 minute workshop we did for our prototype. Ideally, you'll work through each of these stages in order, pivoting if you find an idea that you're not interested in or an idea that you're more interested in. If you're already at a more advanced stage, you can also skip some of the introductory modules like Prototype and jump right into the more advanced ones. Whatever you do, know what stage you're in as it takes different strategies to successfully navigate each phase. The beauty of this model is that it's also organized by time commitment. Your prototype is likely to be volatile. Similarly, it'll take less time to implement, so it's not that much of a loss if you don't like it. As you start getting into more advanced projects, you'll start to see it takes more and more time and gets harder to back out. Thus, use the prototype as much as you can until you find something that you genuinely like. You could go through two, three, four weekend projects until you find something that you genuinely want to settle with. That's also all right if you try a weekend project and then your MVP turns out to be completely unrelated to your original weekend project. That's just a part of the process. There is less of a rush if you're an underclassman as you've got time to do all of these projects with breaks in between for pacing. That being said, if you're a junior and just getting introduced to this content, you'll have to move quickly because you won't have as much time to execute many projects. 
Check out our additional resources for a recommended timeline. But don't worry, you might just hit on a gem right away. Kevin and I sure did. That's it for our principles and introducing the 20% project. As you can see, we've got an exciting few weeks planned ahead of us. So buckle up and let's get right into the first module, prototyping.